There has been a boom in personal finance education lately as more high schools are required to offer it. New reports showing nearly 700 percent increase since 2013. The number of states guaranteeing students will take a personal finance course before graduation. Bravo, by the way, bravo. Sharon Epperson uh, joining us now with more on what it takes to earn a top grade. This is like important stuff. This is very important. That's and actually, a good by the story. way, a good. That's a that's is a feel good story. This exactly. is actually happening. Exactly. We've been talking about financial literacy for so long, and I now know. it's happening. It's happening. It's definitely happening. And a new report card from the Center for Financial Literacy at Champlain College in Vermont gave an A grade to seven states. Those are states that required students who graduated in 2023 to have taken a standalone course in personal finance. Now, by 2028, when new laws and policy changes are fully implemented. 23 states are projected to earn an A. In the next five years, more than four out of 10 high school students in the U.S. will be enrolled in high schools where a standalone full semester course in personal finance is required before graduating. While many local school districts may already offer these classes, experts say the increase in states requiring students to take a financial literacy course to graduate is partly response to the pandemic, which highlighted disparities in income and managing household finances. If you leave it up to local control, the districts most likely to unilaterally do this locally, they're white and they're rich. So, so you, you would argue the folks that need it the most are the least likely to get it unless the state requires everyone gets it. Now, studies show getting this education in high school makes a difference in financial behaviors of young adults, from improving credit scores and lowering loan delinquency rates to reducing payday lending and helping students make better decisions about paying for college. The momentum for financial education in schools is strong, and Wisconsin could soon become the 24th state to earn an A grade. This week, the governor of Wisconsin is expected to sign a bill requiring a personal financial literacy course for high school graduation, Andrew. So how much does the personal, when you think about personal financial courses in high school right now, do they have on young adults investing in terms yeah. of their future? How much do we, I mean, the impact do we really think this is? They definitely talk about investing, about right. the importance of compound interest. What's interesting, though, is when you look at what young adults are doing in terms of retirement savings and investing, there's not a significant increase right. after having taken these classes. And that, perhaps, is just because teenagers aren't necessarily thinking about their retirement savings and investing accounts in that way. So we're not going to know if this is working for, what, an entire generation? We, we know that it's working in the right. things that, that young adults need right now in terms of their credit, their credit scores, managing credit in terms of making sure that they're taking out the lower cost loans rather than high cost right. private loans or going for more federal loans. They're being smarter about some of those decisions that they have to make as young adults. Okay, so I said bravo. I said this was a feel good story, but are there states that are not doing this right? Meaning I assume there, there's going to be some failing there states are, here. There are about five failing states according to this report because they have virtually no financial literacy requirements at all in terms of a state mandated requirement. Um, California is one of those states, though, many of the advocates are trying to work together to get it on the ballot, mm. to get something done. One of the states, though, that has done so very well has been Tennessee. Since 2013, it's received an A grade because it has had a requirement in that state for all high school students to take a personal finance mm. course. And one of the largest districts in Tennessee, of course, is Nashville. Nashville is going to be the center of focus on multiple platforms on CNBC coming up later this week, including a documentary on cities of success, focusing on Nashville. On what Wednesday is there a push to the extent that there are states that are not doing this yet, like a California? Is there a pushback? A lot of people don't want the state to make that decision. Okay. They're saying that the local school district should be able to do it. But there are many advocates in California saying this state is huge. We need right. to educate the students on financial literacy and make this a, a state guarantee.